Hey everybody, happy Tuesday and welcome to today's collective reading where we focus on the sacral chakra, which is how we relate ourselves to one other individual, not the entire world or, or groups, but one-on-one, -on -one, which we call the other, the other one. Um, also, happy new moon day today. Today is the, uh, the new moon. Um, I also um, did a special reading for that, which I posted last week, but you'll see it in the, uh, there's a playlist at the end of this video um, for full moons and new moons. So if you click on that playlist, you can go check that out as well. Um, but today we're going to go ahead and pull a card here from the Queen of the Moon Oracle for the new moon and just see today what would the Creator like us to know um, about how we're relating to that one other? What message do we have for that? Um, and before we start, as always, I just love to welcome you, Creator, to be here with us. You're always with us. We just want to acknowledge your beautiful, lovely, peaceful presence. And we want to thank you for your unconditional love that you have for us. It's never ending and unconditional. Nothing we can do to lose it. We're so grateful and we welcome you. We also welcome all of our angels, our guardian angels, our spirit guides, our loved ones who are on the other side, our ancestors, and any other magical beings of unconditional love and light. We welcome you and thank you for helping bring through messages of love today. All right. Let's see what we have in store for this Tuesday. What do we want to know? Or what do you want us to know, Creator, about how we relate to the other today? What information would you like us to know today? Okay. That's the waning crescent moon. I love these cards. That just the imagery is beautiful. And it's about resistance. <clears throat> and we'll read from the little book here. And that was number 25. So the waning crescent, um, it says familiarize yourself with how resistance manifest for you, the overt and the covert. If you continue to have doors slammed in your face, turn around, there will normally be an open door. Procrastination is just another kind of fear. Move forward with confidence and persistence. <clears throat> and the little phrase it puts in here is, I flow through resistance and I'm in control. Um, and before I continue reading here, I really feel a message here for some of you is, um, in relation to the other, if they keep um, like knocking your hand away or slamming the door in your face, um, giving you the cold treatment, not responding to you, it's like you don't have to hold tight onto something, you know. I love it, these birds, if it's meant to be in your life, it won't pass you by. If you let go and release all that stress that you're having trying to grasp onto it, you might find that they feel more comfortable and they don't feel as trapped or smothered and they will reciprocate back. Or if they're not meant to be in your life anymore, they were just there for a season, then you get to turn around and find something um, that is even more beneficial for your experience and your higher vibration of love. All that energy you're investing and holding on can be vested in loving yourself and your life, and you can just see a whole, you know, a whole new transformation happen in your life as well. All right. Continuing on, it says there are two kinds of resistance. The first type we encounter when we keep getting obstacles placed in our way or our way is blocked. For example, we try to get a particular job in a particular field, but no matter what we do, it doesn't happen. This is external or overt resistance. Covert resistance, which occurs when we say we really want to do or complete something, but feel resistance not to. That is somewhat sneakier. All forms of procrastination fit in here. Writer's block being a classic example. When we want to do something but get distracted and don't do it, or we just can't seem to engage our will enough, that's covert resistance. <clears throat> when we want to get rid of a bad habit, an addiction, an old pattern, whatever it may be, in fact, anything we're thinking of releasing for the dark moon, 
which is funny. This is the new moon today. And feel resistance in doing so, we have a big dose of covert resistance. We must battle the second kind of resistance like we would battle a crafty and terrible enemy. We must raise our shields and sharpen our swords and have a strategy to remove the resistance. In fact, we must flow through it. It's a battle we might have to fight more than once, but we will be resilient and vigilant and fight it, we will. For when we win, and we will win, the rewards are great. <clears throat> It says, why do we resist the things we say we want? Sometimes we don't really want those things. <laughs> Most times though, we're frightened about what might happen if we do get what we have asked for. What will people think? Will we lose our friends and family if we rise? Will it all be for nothing if we try and fail? But we must be willful and we must have courage. We must repeat to ourselves, this is what I really want for me. Yes, I am worth it. And then we stand up straight, put on our crown of sovereignty of our own lives, and we go to battle. Um, and then red jasper, which I actually have some here, some red jasper, is the companion stone um, for um, this energy as well. So if you have any red jasper or any red, um, that can also help you look at um, that as well. So, you know, as you go through this Tuesday today with this new moon, you know, look at um, what you feel resistant today and take a moment, take a deep breath and just go, am I feeling resistant because I feel I'm being pressured into doing something I don't want to do? You know, I feel like I'm supposed to or should do that. Um, and then if that's the case, then you know, take a step back and even further and go, is it something I would really want or, um, you know, am I just feeling, fearing what, um, how I'll disappoint others if I don't, you know, accomplish that or do that thing or act that way or blah, 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 you know, insert all that lovely conditional love laws and all those rules that we think we have. And, and then if not, release it. Say, you know what? In a second, I can release that and go, I'm not going to do that anymore. And you just feel this lightness come about you. And then if you look at that resistance and you're like, no, I really, really want that. But I'm fearing, again, what will people think? What if I fail? You know what? It's um, people are so proud of people taking steps, you know, like I'm so scared. I, I'm, you know, that you did that. That's amazing. I don't care what that you felt or whatever. I'm just scared to even take a step. And if you do that, it encourages others to go, you know what? I'm going to take steps too. And you can, you know, start this wave of people taking chances and doing the things they love um, because they saw you do it. And when I left my a company I worked for for over 20 years um, you know some people were like I could never do that <clears throat> and I'm like you know you actually you could you just have to be willing to make a lifestyle change if you don't want to you know make that enormous amount of, now I guess it wasn't like enormous it was a nice amount of money and I chose to leave and step out of a high manager position because it wasn't satisfying me anymore. I was existing, I wasn't living, so it wasn't worth it for me anymore. So I was willing to sell my truck and sell my condo and simplify and get down to things because having all that stuff wasn't worth me doing everything to maintain and have that. I'm like, no, I would much rather be free um, and enjoy you know, the moments of life in the way I want to. And they were like, you know, you're right. I just like my stuff. I'm not at that place yet. I go, that's great. You know, that you recognize you could, but you're not uh, making that choice. It empowers you too, you know, because you can get to that point where you're like, oh, I don't want to go to work today. But you're like, well, I don't have to go to work today, but I want to go to work today because I like the benefits it brings me. Then you don't feel drudgery going to work you're like, you start to be grateful because you think of all the things that it's bringing you that you do enjoy. So win, 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 win. So. <laughs>
enjoy this amazing, amazing Tuesday. And as you go through it, just know that you are unconditionally loved by the creator of all things. And I love you too. We'll talk to you tomorrow. <laughs> you take care. Bye.